Welcome to G Baton Arts and today's sequence is sequence 23 and this is also called Repulse the Monkey. So if you remember the last sequence we, we did finished with a double wrist strike in this position. The next movement you relax the right elbow, transfer the weight, draw across, turning the palm out. Your left hand strikes as you step forward. Turn your waist to keep the knee where it is. Draw into cat stance. Fingers pointing in this direction. You relax and step into dragon again. Right palm in front of the shoulder. Right shoulder, left palm extended in front of the left shoulder. <coughs> it's uh, rather difficult to demonstrate this, but I'll do my best. So if Rob's here, from this position, so I've brought sides in that position. So I've struck my opponent number one. As number two strikes in, I ward off and I turn the palm so that as I step, I can pull him onto the strike. So I'm trapped that arm, pull him onto the strike. The hand curls around there and I pull him into my fingers here, the fingers into the arm. It's rather a nasty move. And then, depending where his head is, I either scoop under and roll him away that way, or from there, I push on the hand or the, the head. But remember, that's a possible. Um, there's always more than one application to a sequence in Tai Chi, but it's really about learning the principles. So the principles of movement here, we're in this position, so the punch comes in, I don't have much time to walk to my feet, this arm draws up, it catches the punch, I adjust, I adjust, my waist turns, the palms out, and the left hand's in a position ready to strike. And as you remember in the demonstration, the right hand drops, that's drawing his arm down and I'm stepping, so I'm pulling him onto this strike. I then reach around, control the head, so I pull him back, this hands in this position, his head's here, so the fingers are in the eyes, and I either relax my elbow, push his head away, and push his shoulder away, or push his head away with either hand. So we just get rid of him with the final movement. Okay, let's do it the other way. So we're here, we finish the wrist strike, we ward off, adjust, adjust, so we're in leopard, and this palm's turned round, pulls the arm down, strike, reach through with the waist and use that power to draw in and into dragon. So there's a lot of waist movement here, a lot of torque in the waist. Um, so you need to, from this position, you need to really turn, turn the waist so you unwind, you've got that power to pull the head down. Just use your arm, it wouldn't work. Okay, so let's go through that from the rear and we'll do it a couple of times and we'll do it with the breathing and I'll answer any questions if there are any. Right, so we're here, so we've got our double wrist strike from here. So we pivot, turning, warding off, adjust the right foot, adjust the left foot as we drift into leopard, relax the right elbow, we strike as we draw the arm down with the left hand circle around the head, draw the head into the fingers, relax and push away. Same thing the other way. So we're from here and again we relax, ward off, adjust the left foot, adjust the right foot, right palms out, left palm strikes as we draw the arm down, circle my waist, pull the head down and into the dragon again. Breathing. This final movement was an out of breath. So in, out, in, out. Same thing the other way, double wrist strike, in, out, in, out. Obviously 
that's it's a bit stilted because I'm explaining each of the moves because the moves would work better if it was you know it's fluidly moving from one to the other as it would do. So we'll do it one more time, just moving nice and fluidly. So off we go, uh, double wrist strike, off we go, breathe in. Out. In. Out. And once the other way. In. And. In. And. Okay? Yeah. Hope that's been useful. If so, give us a thumbs up and see you next time.